Hello, hello, what's up, Ghana? My name is Joseph King Konagoko, three times world bantamweight world champion. Uh, keep watching Men's Sports TV. Keep your channel up. Hello sports lovers, welcome to Sports TV. In today's episode, I'm bringing you the preview of the Villarreal versus Manchester United Europa League final. Before I get into my preview, kindly subscribe to the channel. Press the like button if you like our content. Express your views on our videos and also share so others can enjoy the content. Thank you. Not forgetting to watch the full length of the video because that's what help that's what helps in the growth of the channel now let me start the preview of the final of the europa league which is being played in poland manchester are favorite to win the europa league they've been favorites ever since they were knocked out of the champions league at the group stage and they moved to the europa league Villarreal have a very experienced coach, Unai. He has won the Europa League three times with Sevilla. So he's a very experienced coach. He came to England. He could not succeed with us now, but he ended up beating them to get to the final in, in that KG semi-final match. More as Manchester United, East Pass, Roma. Now, what's my view? As I don't think it's going to be a match full of goals, though I wish a final should be full of an exciting football. Manchester United and Villarreal have met four times. Four times. I don't remember it producing a single goal. It has not produced a single goal. The famous one was one that when Rooney got red carded. And a few others. Ronaldo coming from the bench. So... Now let's go to the tactics of the team. I think Villarreal would play a 4-2-2, whilst Manchester United would play a 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, as a Bayern United fan, I'm expecting Ole to pull this one off because last season he went to three first. He went to three semi-finals without qualifying for one final. This season he has been to one semi-final and got knocked out by Leicester City in the FA Cup, which Leicester ended up winning. Yeah, Leicester ended up winning. Then Manchester United, I think they'll start with the gear in post. It is rumored by ESPN, one of their journalists, that whoever starts in the champion uh, in the Europa League final would have next would be next season's number one. But I disagree. But I think the gear should be Manchester United's number one because personally, I don't see Dean Henderson as the person who can take us to the league title he he, he commits certain errors i think one the goal against ac milan in the europa league or something one of the europa league matches which he played he committed a blunder and i think the gear is a surety experience you just need to tune him rightly and get the best out of him uh, the gear tries well under competition. I remember the first season when he came, Silas Ferguson started him when he was struggling. He started ro a rotational policy and the gear came up on top. So I don't see Dean Henderson taking the number one spot, but I'll be disappointed in Dean Henderson if he leaves Manchester United base if that rumor happens to be true. Now to Villarreal. Villarreal would be without Okechuku. I think it, would, it wouldn't be much of a problem, though it's a problem. But I think their, their main man, Moreno, has been in, in fantastic form this season. And he would be the man to watch for. He is in the class of Karim Benzema. Messi is not human, so let's leave him on one side. But he is in the class of Karim Benzema. That shows you the quality. He has about seven assists this season. That shows you the quality of striker he is. And I, I think um, Villarreal, they have a compact midfield. They are going to dominate. They are going to dominate the midfield action for if Manchester United does not press them enough, they would dominate. And when they start dominating, it would be a disaster because that saying that if, if you don't press them, that same like a uh, play 
the same thing happened against Sevilla where Baka ended up scoring a hat trick. I think he would start in today's game just as Cavani to two South Americans. So before I give you my starting lineup, I would urge you to continue to like, press the subscribe button and also share. With Villarreal, I think really will start in goals because he is their safest pair of hands. Though he hasn't competed in the Europa League, he's their safest pair of hands. And this is a Europa Champions League final, so they may go with him. And I think Gaspar would be a right back. Albio experience would be pairing Torres then. Alfonso at left back. Pino, Capon, Manuel and Daniel, those would be their midfield. Baka would also be there and Moreno, the target man, the man in fantastic form. Moreno could be a, a substituted for the ex-Barcelona and Dortmund striker. Baka could be substituted for the ex-Barcelona and Dortmund Maxman Pascal. So that I think would be the starting lineup for Villarreal. Whilst Manchester United will go with De Gea in post, Wan Bissaka at right back, Luke Shaw would be at left back. Harry Maguire is absent due to injury, so I don't I don't see him starting because Oligan Associates said in the press conference that today. He would do only do some jogging. I don't know if he's playing mind games, but I'm not sure he would start. He would be playing Lindelof, then Eric Bay. I think this is the difficult, the midfield pairing is the difficult question, is the difficult one, but I think he should go with his best pair. That is Fred in the middle. Fred should pair Pogba, then he plays Rashford on the left, Bruno Fernandes in the middle, Greenwood on the right end, Cavani in, in the centre forward position. I think that would be a great, that would be a great, great, great starting lineup for Manchester United, and I tip them to win by a goal to nil. I tell them to win by a goal to know to be a very cagey match and that goal may come late in the match maybe in the second half maybe after 80 minutes because both teams i don't think they would open up early and knowing and knowing only when the competition steps up he he likes to hit on the counter so maybe i don't think Ole would open up early but with with Maguire's absence, Moreno and whoever pairs, Moreno and whoever passing would be looking forward to pressing the United defense very hard, especially the defensive midfield. Fred is capable of making silly mistakes, so they'll be pressing him and looking for those silly mistakes out of Fred. That is if he's able to start both Fred um, and McTominay, whoever starts has the edge to commit so many they lose the ball so easily especially fred but looking at the squad i think manchester uh, i think manchester from the 2017 squad the only players that that would possibly start i think the gear did not the gear did not start the 2017 europa league final that was week against i had sergio romero started them that match and sergio romero is not even a registered player in this competition but hey we can't complain over sport now that is past and gone so i think we have the gear Mata, rashford those are martial luke shaw eric by these are the few players who are still in the squad after just um four years of winning that trophy so Let's see what happens in the Europa League final. But I'm predicting a Manchester United one nil win, and it would be on and off dominating, dom, dom, dominance by both midfield. But I think Sevilla midfield will come out on top. But Bruno Fernandes, the magic Bruno Fernandes and Pogba, one of them would, would, would give the assist. And it's been a while 
since Man Manchester United striker produced the winner in the final, I think. Um, against the against Everton years ago was uh, Lingard. The other time was Henry Mkhitaryan producing the late winner. So I think this one, Edison Cavani would give us the winner for this game. So this is my take on the Europa League final. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Continue to adhere to all COVID-19 protocol. Thank you for watching. Stay positive. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, what's up, Ghana? My name is Joseph King Kwanagoko, three times World Bantamweight World Champion. Uh, keep watching Men's Sports TV. Keep your channel up.